Welcome, everyone, to episode 131 of One Hour, One Decision, 1H1D. I am Chris. And I am Tom. And we take 60 minutes and play a random game on Xbox Game Pass and decide, well, is Chikori a colorful tale worth our time, Tom? I really want to talk about uh, what you named your animal. (laughs) Yes. In this episode, we'll we'll get there. We will get there. In this episode, of course, we are talking about Chikori, a colorful tale by, now this is interesting, uh, it's a couple of names and then I guess the development team, Greg, ugh, Greg Lobanoff, Alexis Dean Jones, Lena Rain, and a shell in the pit. This game came out in June of 2021. And Tom, I did play this on the PC, but I didn't install it. I played this Ooh. on cloud. I was like, you know what? Let me try this. Let me try it. Let me see how it is on the cloud on the PC. So I did. I did. I did not install it. But for you people that do install games. It was 1.42 gigabytes on the PC. Tom, what about you? 1.7 gigabytes on the Series S. Ooh, okay. Extra uh, colors? Yeah, could be. <laughs> That's seven, 300 megs, almost 300 megs worth of colors. Then. Of pixels. Yeah. Of colored pixels. Of colored pixels. Is that the, I have, I had the 24 crayons and yes. you had the, the big 48 pack or whatever it was that's so. that's what it's got to be it's got to be that and you had the you had the pencil sharpener too right you had the crayon yeah sharpener. yeah in the back of the box <laughs> uh what kind of game is this time i put art and adventure oh okay yeah how do you like them apples wow that is i mean yeah okay you got that right i put 2d top down story based adventure game all of those words are true as well <laughs> yeah Yes. Excellent. Excellent. How about what is the game loop? I have use a magic paintbrush to change the map and navigate new areas to advance that plot. Mm. I put complete objectives by either coloring or erasing obstacles in your path. Mm. That That is indeed what you do with the magic paintbrush. <laughs> yes. It's, it's yeah. color things in and things change or you erase them and then they go away. Right. Right. So. I was, you know, looking at it in that kind of uh, perspective. And much, yeah, much more mechanical right. inclined. Yeah, yeah. Speaking, Speaking of oh, mechanics, gonna... are yeah. we in the same on the same page here? Uh, let's talk about things that we liked. Yeah, I thought this game had a, a pretty clever concept. You know, it wasn't just your regular kind of two D adventure game or whatnot. Like, you know, it could be a Zelda or whatever uh, of, mm-hmm. of that style, but it wasn't you like, like we just talked about in the game loop, you use this magic paintbrush to kind of uh, interact with the world, a world that is drained of color, which we don't know because you don't really know what happened. There's some, something ominous that has happened in the first hour. I don't know how far you got Tom, but that's mm, the, it's you, mysterious. Yes. Yes. So, so there was that. I thought that was a pretty cool concept, and I thought it looked pretty good for what it was. What about you, Tom? Uh, I I don't have a lot to say about the way that it looks because mm-hmm. uh, it is primary black black and white. It looks yeah. like a, I guess a kind of like a like a comic strip in a, yeah. in a lot of ways, um, yeah. and it can be in black and white or it can be in color, right. like Calvin and Hobbes, maybe. Right. Um, I like the opening sequence and what they did with the music. And the noises and how like the music got discordant and then quiet and then mm-hmm. to let you know that something bad was happening. But your character's right. kind of like a happy go lucky janitor character. So right. he's just like, I'm just gonna keep cleaning. Yeah. And yep. then <laughs> things are getting progressively worse. And then you like step out and you're like, Oh, things are bad. Yeah. Yeah. Cause the color in the world has been drained. And, and yeah, they, I mean the premise is that there is a, a character uh called Chicory. Is that how you say yes. it? I yeah, I think so. It's chicory root, you know, the uh oh, okay. Every, everything in the game is is uh, fr- food. food. Yeah. Okay. Yes, uh, that the, the character basically leaves their brush, this magic brush. They are the wielder of this of the color of this world and they just kind of leave it outside of their their room in the castle. Yeah. Right? Like here yeah. And like, yeah, it was uh interesting because I thought you play as chicory and then Come to find out, I, I fi- you know what? I figured out after the fact that you were naming your character when they yep. asked what your favorite food was. 
I'm like, what? Okay. So, so what did you name your favorite food? I put burger. You, you put burger. So they called you burger for the they whole game. Burger. And I was like, why is, why are they putting my, like, why are they putting burger in lowercase letters? Cause I, you know, I typed it in uh, without capitalizing it. And I was like, oh, oh, that was my name this entire time was burger though. So what did you name yours? Ice cream. Okay. That's I mean, character it's character a dessert, character. but sure. Yeah. I mean, it's said, food. it said food. It didn't say yeah. what, what your favorite yes, dinner right. meal. I mean, I, <laughs> I guess you're right, but uh, that's cool. What's your so favorite you, lunchtime snack? Wasn't the question. I mean, ice cream could still work there too, but yes. Yeah, it's, yeah it can because <laughs> it's food, and you can eat it whenever you darn well please. I guess we are old enough to do whatever we want at this point. We, we are grown ups, and we can eat ice cream at any time of the day. <laughs> I also want to say I thought the accessibility option in this game was pretty impressive. Yeah. I don't know if you saw uh I, I went through that in the beginning and I was surprised. Like you can you can skip through boss battles. Yeah. And, and um uh like there, yeah, it was just it was just a lot like I, I almost feel like there was even a uh, a mode like like a super easy mode. Like even if forgetting about the 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 boss battle itself but like yeah. yeah there was just a lot of cool stuff that they did with like even even the, like i think you pointed this out too that yes, disabled the wet sounds because it is kind of gross at some points but i it was the options are extensive yeah and that's and that's why i called that out that, that there is even an option that's called disabled wet sounds yeah and, and the game says because they're you know they're gross and people yeah. don't like them so <laughs> yeah. if you don't want to listen to them you don't have to right you can also set up a, you know, if you're, I guess, sensitive in this way, you can set up a trigger warnings for sensitive yeah. content. It, it was, it just was an extensive set of options. Yeah. And, and I was pretty happy with the defaults. I thought the defaults mm -hmm. were good choices on the defaults. Right. But, you know, if you were offended by wet sounds, you could go turn them off. You know? <laughs> and um, there was an option to even like reset your character in the world. Yes. That, I don't know if, if you, you saw If yeah. you get, if you get stuck, there's a mm -hmm. button that, just sets you back at like, you know, the home location. Right, right. So it's like, you know, it's kind of cool being able to just do all those kind of things that, you know, gi giving yourself the opportunity to kind of reassess the situation because there's, there's, there could be a lot going on in this game. But yeah. uh, the other thing in terms of accessibility, I, it's not in the menus, but it's in the world itself is the hint system. Yeah, I like the that. That was cool. Like being able to essentially call your parents. And you call your parents. <laughs> yeah. You call your parents. You, you, you tell you go them to the a situation. Phone booth, yeah. You go to a phone booth. You get on the phone. Mm -hmm. You call your mom. Yep. You tell your mom where you are. Yeah. What you're doing. It's great. Yeah. And then she, and then your dad can go and uh, mansplain everything to you too. Yep. Yeah, yep. Yeah. If so. you if, if mom's suggestion is not potent enough right you, their hand of dad is reaching from <laughs> off screen I that was great too because he's just slowly trying to grab the phone too that was great it was, i mean yeah. this game had had a uh, good humor i thought yes throughout it, it you know it, it it didn't take itself too seriously but there were some darker moments oh yeah yeah but um pun intended maybe but but yeah mm. there is uh it was it was it was kind of cool, and this game has local co op too. Really? Yeah, it says local and online. Co I believe online co op too. I wonder how that works. Is there a second character on the screen? What do they I look like? Th I think it might be a second paintbrush. Yeah, I was thinking maybe like like what Mario Galaxy did. You know, where you mm. could like a couple turn on a couple of extra Wiimotes and collect all the things on the yeah. Level. Something like that. So I thought that's kind of cool being able to do this kind of game. I think this is like the second game in recent memory that had like local co-op, which is kind of cool to see that. Yeah, it's so. good to see. It's good to see it because it's something we grew up with. And uh, yes, yeah. But what else? What else did you like about this game? Uh, I put that I enjoyed the characters. I thought the mm -hmm. characters were generally pretty cute, and their yep. interactions were cute. Yeah. Animations from the characters when something would happen. Oh yeah, were, were fun. You know the 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 mouth agape like shocked face <laughs> yeah. on characters is good it's cute oh, you, it's funny you mentioned the boss battle which uh yes i got i got to that point as well cool where cool. you get into the get to the tree you're talking about the tree boss yeah, battle. The, yeah. when you fight the the eyeball yes the big eyeball yeah it had, like, i liked it a lot yeah you like that boss battle i like that boss battle a lot it was probably my favorite thing that happened during the <laughs> playing the game yeah it was good it was uh you know it, it had a uh a, an interesting mechanic that you had to figure out i mean it didn't take very long but it was still kind no. of you know, interesting to try and try and do 
Yeah, because um, you're, you're 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 basically playing a bullet hell, yeah. but you're controlling two different things at once. You're controlling right. your character that you need to dodge the bullets with. Yeah. And then you're controlling the paintbrush, which is your weapon. Mm -hmm. uh, and so you're moving your paintbrush around, painting things to, to diffuse and, and beat the boss while right. dodging with your little doggy. Yeah, exactly. And I I tried it a little bit. I thought that the time lapse system could be interesting. I didn't like fully try it out, but like there was some moments where I was coloring the world where I was like, okay, let me see. And it, it kind of just shows how you colored the world. It was kind of neat, but I don't know if you had an opportunity to try it. That's I, I am out of likes. I am ready to move on to dislikes. And okay. Is, is are you are you okay with that? Yeah, yeah, let's do it. Okay. I could not get that time lapse thing to work. Huh. When I when I would select view time lapse, it just didn't do anything for me. Oh, like it would it was on the screen at the title screen. I would mm -hmm. hit go over to it. I would hit a and nothing would happen. That's after you colored things from the from the main menu. Yeah, there was there was a t like after I had completed chapter one, mm. I was back at the main menu. I went to the main menu. I hit time lapse because I saw it for the first time. Yeah. So when you once you beat the the boss battle, the game says do you want to continue yep. or do you want to save and quit back to title? Right. And I was curious like about what that would look like. Yeah. So I saved and quit to title. And then I saw a time-lapse there because it wasn't there when you first start the game. Yeah. Um, and then I tried to use time-lapse there and it just didn't work. So I think that time-lapse is for that, that menu. So you can color in the menu and then uh, you can see the time-lapse for that particular section. I see. Yeah. So, huh. okay. Well, <laughs> I'll tell you what, that's a perfect segue. Thank you, Chris. Yeah. Because there are not clear instructions in this game about no. what you should be doing. Yeah. I spent a lot of time wandering around aimlessly being like, what am I supposed to do now? I had, mm -hmm. I had no idea if, if I couldn't have called my parents, I would have never gotten anywhere. Yeah, it's true. I mean, I, kudos to them to ha adding that hint system because I, I'm a hundred percent with you. Uh, there was a lot of times where I'm like, "What am I supposed to be doing right now?" Uh, uh, you you pointed this out in your in your notes as well, where certain people like follow me and then they just disappear. <laughs> it's like, yeah, it's crazy. It's crazy because the you, like, the, the grand master character, so right. Chicor Chicory's master, right? You, you go to talk to them and be like, "Hey, I need some help," and the, they go, "Yeah, okay, no problem. Follow me." And then they like <laughs> they move off screen, you know, like they move to the right, you know, go yep. off screen and yep. you're like, oh, okay, I'll just move to that screen and I'll see them again. Nope. nope. They're just gone, gone, gone. I mean, and like, like how, you how have hard no idea it, where they went. How hard would it have been to have like a little trail or something? Why did they have to make that difficult? I don't know. It makes no sense. Uh, and speaking of making no sense, I had a, I had a bit of time, uh, difficulty with the controls themselves. I hated them. <laughs> was, I really didn't like them. Because like it was trying to be almost like a twin stick shooter, but not yeah. really. It was it was it was doing a lot. It was doing a lot with the um, what was going on. Like that boss, like as much as the boss battle was interesting, it was like I felt like I was like, whoa, what's going on? I have to like reorient myself every time to try and get this working properly. See, I I didn't have a problem with the boss battle because precision didn't matter. Okay. Like that, that was a spray and pray kind of moment where like <laughs> I have my paintbrush on and I'm just painting right? and I have my character and I'm running. Right. And so I've just got to get the paint to where it needs to go to hit mm. the thing. And I got to get my character out of the way. It, right. it was very different from then trying to like precision paint something in the, in the game world. Sure. Yeah. Like where I'm, I'm using like a thumbstick and it's, yeah. it's painting out of the lines and I hate the way it looks. Yeah. Yeah. This is this is definitely one of those games uh, and also one of my dislikes where you can get very obsessive with trying to color things in the world. Yeah. For me, especially where I'm like, oh, I missed that one spot. And it's like it would bother me so much. And then I have to like move my right stick over to try to color it. And it was, you know, it was a mess for me. But so, so you played it on a controller as well. I did. Yeah, I did play it on a controller as well. But because I played it on cloud, I see you can only play it with a controller. And this is like this game. I don't know. Did this ever? Well, 2021, it's probably not that. I was thinking like this game would have been perfect, like on an, uh, like a DS or a, yeah. or an iPad or something like that with a, with a pen, pen, something with a stylus yeah. would be perfect for this game. A absolutely. So I don't know. It's just what it is. This is the, uh, this is what they thought 
was a good idea to do. So what else did you not like about this game? Tom? Um, I, di- I didn't like that when I finally did get to meet Chicory. Yeah. It's just mean to my yeah. character. Yeah. And I, I got the very much the like never meet your heroes kind of <laughs> yeah. vibe. I was like, this I, character is a jerk. Yeah. I 100% had that same thought cross my mind. And yeah, it was like, why are they this upset? Like, what is going on? I, but I, I guess it gave me more, like, it got me more curious about what was happening in the world. Yeah. So there was that. But, you know, do they have to be a jerk about someone who's like their biggest fan? Probably right. not. No. Yeah. And, and I mean, Granted, it happens off screen and Chicory's not aware of it, but Mm -hmm. uh, Ice Cream was defending them to (laughs) anybody who had said bad things about them. (laughs) Right, right. Ice Cream was coming to on the defensive. So, uh, with and to think about it, with all the conversation that happens in the world, okay, no, no, there is there is a little bit of choice with what you say to certain people too, right? It gives it gives you the left or right. Yeah, yeah, that's true. I was just thinking about like I didn't. I was like, oh, do you really have any choice in what you say? But yes, you. I wonder what would have happened if you didn't pick up the paintbrush because that's one of the things is like leave it, take it. Yeah, I I was just wondering. I I thought about that myself too. Is like, is there if you just walked outside without touching the paintbrush, what would have happened? It's a thought. Yeah, because characters um, definitely react and go, oh, you've got that paintbrush. Yeah, I mean, certainly that dialogue would need to be different, right? (laughs) Unless you just can't leave until you pick it up, right? Right, which is probably what happens. But yeah, is there anything else you wanted to talk about dislikes? I I did have a little line here that I think the game really dragged Mm. at first, especially before before I talked to my parents. Yes, Um, and then you start to gain powers and like like your paint glows and things yeah. like that and it's like okay they give you a map like the game start like as they start to give you all of the tools mm-hmm. like things get better but just like that starting tool set is uh i don't know if it oh i, knew, I was, I don't I think was they looking did. at the clock <laughs> i don't think i got a, a map i didn't think i got it's that right far. it's right right at the beginning of chapter two. Oh, okay Okay. Your, your dad gives it to you. Oh, neat. All right. Well, that's good. Uh, so what about your other thoughts here, Tom? So I did a little digging. Mm-hmm. The game was originally called Draw Dog, okay. which I think communicates the premise of the game a whole lot better <laughs> than Chicory. Yeah. When Chicory isn't even your main character nope. and Chicory is kind of a jerk. Yeah. I don't know if I would name my game after this jerk of a character. Mm. Um, I also put down that the designer, Greg Lobanov, mm-hmm. uh, worked on Wandersong, Celeste, and Tunic, wow. which are all very well-regarded games. So yeah. if you're a fan of any of those, you may want to check this out. Yeah. It's I, I, very different from those styles of games, but... Yes. But, um, yeah. Well, I, 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 Tunic, there's... there's there. Uh, Okay. You know the top down. Yeah, like, I mean that game. Uh, that game is pretty hard too. I don't know if you if you played yeah, that. I haven't played it. I've seen it played, but yeah, it's a, cute game. I, I guess they're all pretty cute games in that sense. But yeah, different. I, mean, I guess some it can be pretty uh, pretty heavy in their their story. Yeah. But how long to beat? Says this game takes about nine hours to complete. Okay. So not not terrible, mm-hmm. and uh, as mentioned, X Xbox Cloud saves and X uh, you know a, um, remote play is possible, but uh, you do need a controller on mobile. So just a heads up on that. Yeah, yeah kind of a bummer, but I get it. I but this is also one of those games that would be amazing if on mobile they yep. had touchscreen touch screen yep. controls. That would be fantastic. Yes, but, yes, 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 yes. Yeah. But so be it, and. That means we need to find out, though, Tom, are we going to keep this game or discard it? Crumple it up and throw it in the trash? (laughs) Yeah, like like, uh, Like a poor drawing. Like a poor drawing. Yeah. But before we get to that, though, Tom, we have to thank cdkeys.com for uh, sponsoring the show and helping us out. And you can help us with this uh, lovely sponsorship by clicking on the link in our YouTube and podcast descriptions. And checking out cdkeys.com and, you know, seeing all the cool, fantastic stuff that they have out there. Game Pass subscriptions, uh, all the new hot, hot, hot new releases out there. And, um, you know. Cold ones, too. Cold ones, too. Cold ones that they sometimes give great, great deals on. 90% off, even. So, you know, check that out. Check out that link. And uh, we appreciate everyone that checks out cdkeys.com and appreciate cdkeys. But, Tom, let's get back to it. What is our final 
decision on this game? Well, you've kept your secret from me, so I will go first. <laughs> okay. Um, I think, and we've said it a couple of times, the game feels designed to be played on a touchscreen with a stylus. Yeah. I think if it wasn't designed that way, I don't know how they made this game. Um, mm -hmm. But as a consequence, I think the controller really gets in the way of the experience. Um, yeah. For me, it just wasn't. And you, you can adjust the sensitivity and things in the settings, and maybe you can tweak it and get it to a place that you like. But I'm not right. comfy with the twin sticks trying to paint it in and at the same time move my character around. It just wasn't. Right. It almost feels like I'd rather like switch modes, like pause the game, paint, and then mm. unpause the game kind of thing. Yeah. Um, but even still, uh, I, I need to paint inside the lines, and this is, this is not that. <laughs> So it was driving me crazy. So uh, yeah. I don't think I'm continuing with this. Yeah. As, as uh, interesting as the characters were, as interesting as the story seems like it's where it's going for me. I, I, yeah. I, I feel, I felt the same way as you, Tom. Like I felt like I was battling not just the game, but the controls uh, throughout my playthrough. And it was it was hard. Like uh, again, just to reiterate, like if this game was had the op, uh, if I had the opportunity to play this game with the with the pen a stylus of some sort, I'd totally be down to try it again. But uh, I can't, so I'm not going to continue to play this game. So there's that. But those are our thoughts. Let us know what you think of this game. Follow us and say hello on Twitter at tc1h1d, or check us out on all the wonderful podcasts platforms, and you know. Because obviously you're listening to this on a podcasting platform. And check out our streams on Twitch. What's that, Tom? I was going to say, unless they're watching it on YouTube. Yes, or watching this on YouTube. And if you are watching this on YouTube, send us a comment down below and tell us how wrong we are about Chicory. Because we should continue playing or, or not. Or agree with us. That's fine, too. Uh, and always, we are playing our games are on Twitch at twitch.tv slash 1h1d. And um, every once in a while, I'll try to pop an, a question out there on Spotify. So, you know, look yeah, out for those. Yeah, like, what's your favorite food? Yeah, what is your favorite food? That's a good one. I'm, I'm going to use that for this episode. But, uh, Tom, what else we should let everyone know is 1H1D is part of that QTV network. So check out all the cool gaming content that's out there at quitthebuild.com slash network. Now, Tom, we got to find out what we're playing next, though, don't we? Yes. In order to continue our show. In order to continue our show, that's right. So the surprise me button's helping us again. So here we go. Okay, what is Ast it? Astro near, like astronaut, like astronaut, but with a near. Okay, not like a very close butt. No, not like a butt. Why would I? Why would I want a butt near me like that? Um, I don't. I don't know. So you, you were saying ass too near. Oh no, God no. Okay. No, uh, no, that is not. It's like an astronaut. Anyway, that is the next episode. Thank you so much, everyone, for tuning in. And we will catch you on the next one. Thanks, everybody.